Justin, a beautiful day today. Hard to believe that we are in the middle of winter. Yes, not a bad January day, especially mm -hmm. over the last couple of weeks. We've seen ice, we've seen snow, bitterly cold temperatures. That's 61 degrees today. Felt great. It felt like 75. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but it felt really warm, <laughs> especially without the wind. Mm -hmm. 61 here today. You can see across the lower 48 states, whoom, gone. Where's the Arctic air? Where's that frozen tundra that we saw over the last couple of weeks where temperatures were sub 20 below zero here across the northern plains? And you can see very little uh, real estate was below freezing here today. And the other thing with all the sunshine here today, we gained 30 minutes of daylight hours uh, here this month and sunset here this evening, 553. It's getting a little bit later. Next Sunday, that is our first six o'clock and beyond sunset, okay? So those uh, evenings are getting a little bit brighter and that sun is helping to maybe warm us up a little bit. And we will warm up nicely here over the next couple of days with temperatures into the 60s and light winds. Light winds here this evening and overnight will set the stage for a little bit of patchy light uh, fog and also a lot of dew on the car top. Uh, as you head out the door tomorrow morning. So just be aware of that 44 degrees and I think we will stay above freezing compared to last night where at my house, it looked like it snowed outside this morning because of that heavy, thick frost. And uh, no frost is expected here for the overnight for most areas, some low line areas. Look at Bristow right now, 33 degrees, but most of us are in the 40s right now and we'll fall down into the middle 30s for overnight lows for the majority of us. As you can see, it's been a cool evening under light winds and clear skies and that'll remain the case for the overnight. 1.8. That is in the rain gauge so far for the month. I know we have a couple more days left in the month, but over the next couple days, it looks quiet. So we won't be adding on to that and we won't be adding on to this. Only a tenth of snowfall. It has been cold, but not much snow here officially. 64 and 1, our hottest and coldest temperature so far. And thankfully, no severe weather. Area of high pressure is taken over. Uh, for the next couple of days, we have a couple weather systems we're watching. One right here that'll zip to the southeast, be a glancing shot of some north winds and some colder weather on Tuesday. Slightly cooler weather, okay? This is not a strong cold front. The coldest air will be off to the east. And then there's our weather system Friday into Saturday that will likely uh, bring us a, another round of some soaking rain as we enter the month of February. Sunny and quiet here tomorrow, 60s rule. There's that little cool shot. Most of the cold air is off towards the Great Lakes in the Northeast with some snow showers and temperatures in the 30s and 40s will remain sunny and quiet, maybe a couple degrees cooler on Tuesday. And then we warm back up into the middle 60s, near 70 in Southwest Oklahoma, both Wednesday and Thursday. And then clouds increase, maybe some late day rain on Friday and then Friday night into Saturday could be a good soaking rain as the southern jet becomes a little bit more active for the coming weeks and maybe some Arctic air by the middle of February. So we're a good maybe two weeks away from our next big Arctic blast, but I think we still see some Arctic air for the month of February, just not in the next nine days. Temperatures here tonight, upper 20s to middle 30s, light fog here. Apache in nature and it should go away quickly with the uh, sunrise tomorrow as we make it near 64 middle 60s with light winds. If you're a tennis player and a golf player, this is a day to get out there and at least swing the clubs a little bit as temperatures will be very nice, slightly cooler on Tuesday and look at your night day forecast. We stay with the nice weather with increasing clouds, maybe a shower late day as we enter February on Thursday. Groundhog's Day. Does he see his shadow and we see rain?